Whoa, and okay. There's a little effects on the guitar, which is unnecessary, but I don't really want to change it. What we're going to look at is, you know, the first thing is for intervals, and that's something for advanced all the way down to, to beginners. And we're going to start with an open E, because we'll have the... Pass that. Open E. The next fret is on the second fret of the A string, which is a fifth interval. Now, that's going from low to high. Now, if I wanted to go, if we take this and roll backwards from the F sharp to the to the B. The F sharp is the fifth interval of the B. It's like a C. Anyway, okay, the f from E, we have B, the fifth, and the next co note would, is the octave. You go directly at an angle, which is your third, your major third. Now, if you drop that note a half step, you have what's called a minor, E minor. That's an E major, E minor, and this is the first thing that beginners are going to learn is your open chords. Um, we're going to go to the G, and the reason why I'm going to do that is because the next step will be the A, which is the fourth interval of the E major scale. And the G is not in the E major scale. Because there's your A.
two particular chords. Well, that is perfect for a beginner, you know, because then you can sound like, you know, you know how to play somewhat. Then we'll we'll take we'll add the D chord in, which is pretty simple in itself. But a lot of times I'll I'll format it this way, using a bar across the, the G string and the high E string, and then the the D is on your B string. It's an E. No D. Go down to it's a C. If you go up to it's an E. D C B B string. Okay. So, which is also the sixth in a uh, of a D note. Here's your D. Okay. And the reason I'm showing you that is because. For, for this particular one, you got uh, uh, walk, no, is it, I don't know if that's walk this way, I can't remember. No, it's sweet, sweet emotion, which starts off. for right now. We'll see you on the next lesson, which will be in another window. This is